you clicked this video so i assume you want to learn how to create this curved carousel animation effect in powerpoint let's get into the output to get a glimpse of how this is working if you see when i click on this icon it moves to the next slide giving a curved carousel animation effect with the background changes it applies to both forward and backwards or straight to the first slide based on which icon we click basically these can be done by the ui ux designers by using high end design softwares can we learn how to create this awesome effect in powerpoint the free template link is in the description you can download it if you want without further ado let's jump into the video i have a slide with the record icons downloaded you can download these icons from the insert icons menu let's take a look at inserting images and formatting them go to insert tab and click on this device select all the images that we want to animate and hit open move the top image like this and the bottom image like this then select all the images go to align in the picture format tab and select distribute horizontally again go to the align option and select align top then right click on that selected images and select the group option to group them move the image group like this let's see how to make the carousel shapes we are going to make a mask out of this carousel shape on top of the image group go to the insert tab and select shapes then select oval shape place the oval shape on top of the image group like this then right click format shape select no line in the line option and then select slide background fill in the fill option let's align the shape in the center make a duplicate of it by hitting control plus d and place it like this select the created shapes and image group right click then send them back so that the icons will be in the front let's see how to hyperlink the slides with the icons we have select this icon go to insert tab and click on action select hyperlink to this icon indicates the next slide so when we click on this icon the next slide should appear on our screen so i am selecting the next slide from the drop down same for this icon but the previous slide should appear so here i am selecting the previous slide from the drop down for this monitor icon the first slide should appear so that the first slide will pop up when we click on it so go to action hyperlink to and select the first slide from the drop down let's see the basic title format formatting is more important when it comes to designing a slide go to the insert tab click on shapes and select the text box place the text box like this and write the title you want play with the text formatting options to get the output we want align the images and title properly since it is the first slide of our presentation
Let's create further slides which are helpful to create the curved gorilla animation. Select the first slide and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Move the text box like this. Play with some text formatting. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the text box and convert it as a subheading. Then move the image group like this. Make sure the first image is vertically centered on the slide. Again, Ctrl plus D to duplicate the second slide. Move the image group like this. Make sure the second image is now vertically centered on the slide. Follow the same steps up to the ninth slide. The first slide doesn't need the previous slide hyperlink since it is the first slide in this presentation so I'm removing it. Same for the last slide. It doesn't need the next slide since it is the last slide so I'm removing that also. Let's see how we can apply some blurred background as we saw in the output. We need the backgrounds from the second slide. So select the second slide, select the first image, right click on it to copy the image. Go to the format background option, select the picture or texture fill. Click on the clipboard and it will automatically take the picture we just copied. Go to the artistic effect and select the blur effect like this. Make sure the radius is 4 so that the image just clear. Likewise, we have to follow the same steps for the other slides up to 8th slide.
I'm tweaking this title and subtitle colors to match the background we just applied. You can do this if you need, otherwise you can skip this part. Perfect. We have done almost everything. Now we need to apply the transition to animate the slides in the way we want. Select all the slides, go to the transition tab and select the morph transition. Set the duration as 1. That's all. We have done our part. Let's see the output in the slideshow mode. What do you feel about this cool effect? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I am sure this tutorial improved your PowerPoint knowledge by at least 1% better. Please let me know which topics I can cover next. Also please like, share and subscribe to my channel. It will motivate me to do more of these videos. Thank you for watching, here are some of my suggestions. I will see you in the next amazing video. Until then, bye, signing off, the slide master.